in this session we are going to learn about the object oriented databases okay so first I'm going to tell you why at all we need such kind of databases okay the first reason why we need them is there are certain applications which require modeling of complex objects okay which require modeling of complex objects our traditional relational system does not allow this to happen why because in a traditional relational system we do not have multi-valued attributes we do not have composite attributes right we can only have simple atomic attributes and that is why those systems are unable to provide this kind of modeling the other reason is with the increasing use of object oriented programming languages we have a impending need so that these programming languages can use objects directly from the database okay so what we need is that these languages should somehow be able to talk to the database in such a manner that the objects that these languages operate on can be directly stored in the databases and can be directly fetched as and when required we do not want translations to happen in this process okay no translations or transparent translations okay what do we mean by transparent translation it means that user is totally unaware of the translation that is being taken place the object which is being used in a programming language is to be converted into something which can be stored in a database this is done in a totally transparent manner with the user totally unaware of it okay so such object oriented databases allows to permanently store an object which can be used by the object oriented programming languages now we are going to take a look at the features that these object oriented languages or rather object oriented databases provides to us okay so i'm going to write it as features of object oriented databases okay the first feature is it allows us to specify state and behavior okay so what is a state an object normally has some properties okay it would have some properties let's suppose these are my properties and it has some behavior okay what do we mean by behavior behavior are set of operations that modify these properties so here we have operations here we have properties okay a state is defined by the values of these property attributes okay and a behavior is defined by the operation is defined by the operation that modifies these property attributes okay modifies or operates upon these property attributes okay so let's take an example to clarify this concept let's suppose i have a object let's suppose this is an object that models a rectangle okay so here i would have the length of the rectangle i would have the